today Joe and I are going to show you how to locate your clean out plug which is located right over here. Now that is what you're going to be looking for. And you may ask, why do I need to know where my clean out plug is? Well, if you are doing laundry and you hear a bubbling or a gurgling in your toilet, it could be a sign that your main line is backing up. So, I also want to mention how important it is, is that you find the clean out plug outside, not inside. Because if your sewer is backed up, you do not want to open the inside clean out plug and have sewage spill all over your home. So this is only for outside plugs. It's very important to know whether or not you're on septic or sewer. Your septic tank is usually within 10 to 15 feet of the perimeter of your home. Um, your sewer line usually is in the front of your home. Um, so it's very important to find out whether or not you're on septic or sewer. Once you figure that out, your clean out plug is always located within two to three feet of the perimeter of your home. So if you know that your tank is in the front of your house, then your clean out plug is going to be in the front of your house. So what you want to do is sometimes it's covered with landscaping debris, sometimes it's buried in the dirt. You want to be sure and get a rake if yours is not easily visible. So now we are going to go over here and I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to get the cap off and how to be careful and all that good stuff. Now that we have located our clean out plug and I have my gloves on and my channel locks in hand, uh, one of the most important things is if your line is backed up, it's not to put your head over the clean out plug because it could be under pressure and it could you know, spew out and get all over you and that's never fun. So let's squat down here. We are going to remember the old plumber. Uh, well, hold on. Are, are those OSHA proof sandals? Um, well, actually, no, they're not OSHA proof sandals, but um, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, don't come out here with sandals on or flip-flops. Um, this could get very messy, and if your sewer is backed up, you don't want that sewage getting all over your feet, so. So, it's a good idea not to have your sandals on. So, we are righty tighty Lefty Lucy. So we're going to open this up gently. Like I said, don't put your head over it. And look, no backup. So that's good news for us. So if you notice that your clean out is missing its cap, it is very important that you go purchase one and put one on it. Because if you don't, this is what can happen. Jordan, why don't you tell people what we found down in that hole? Well, found uh, some glass down in their drain. We did find some glass, and Jordan, why was the glass in the drain? Well, I guess the homeowner thought that it would be a good cap cover, and um, that bottle ended up falling down into that drain and busting, and that ended up causing their lines to back up. Okay, you guys, so I guess we're going to play a little go fish. Try to get some of that glass out. Okay, here it comes. Come on, here we go. Uh, that will definitely get your drain stopped up. So, if it was full of sewage, if you're on sewer, then you would want to call the plumber. And we will come out and put a sewer machine in the clean out and get your line cleared uh, or get you flowing. And then we're going to put a camera in the line to make sure that it doesn't have roots or um, a swell. We're going to see what the problem is. 
If you happen to be on septic, I would recommend calling the septic company and have them come pump your tank. So if you're prone to sewer or septic backups, you may want to consider getting a uh, sewer popper. Um, this piece takes the place of your cap. So we're going to take it apart and you would thread this part in here. And then this will go in here like this. Um, how this actually works is when it's down in here and your water backs up, sewer backs up, you're going, it'll actually push this up like this. And it'll allow the water or sewage to come out out here rather than inside your house. I'll leave a link to the sewer popper in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share and most of all subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe right back here. And we have a car coming up, so we're just going to start all over. That's good. Problems? If you're having backup problems, it's not um, so he will access the plumbing. He'll access this line. He will access this line. You mentioned that. No, they are not OSHA approved sandals. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay. <laughs> nope. If you like this video, 